Well, we had an acid attack take place at a London mall, guys. This is the second time in a couple of weeks that I've done a report on an acid attack, all right? The first one uh, was in France uh, at a train station where a couple of uh, girls from Boston College ended up getting sprayed with some type of an acid substance uh, in their face by some crazed woman. Uh, and now we have another one to report, this time at a London mall. Again, six people have been injured in this, guys. I don't know what is going on. I, I really don't. I mean, men's hearts are fixated on evil continuously, just as the Bible said they would in the last days. Well, a group of men, the report is saying, uh, have sprayed some type of, a, of an acid substance at shoppers in London on Saturday night. They've injured at least six people in this. The Metropolitan Police said that a 15-year-old boy was arrested on suspicion of causing grievous bodily harm at the Westfield Stratford Shopping Center in East London. So far, we have treated at least five patients at the scene and taken three patients to the hospital, said London Ambulance Service Assistant Director of Operations, Paul Gibson. We remain on the scene, all right? That was last night after everything broke down. Gibson later confirmed that at least six people were treated for injuries, with three of them hospitalized, uh, according to the reports. Uh, thankfully, all these injuries, guys, are non-life-threatening. Thank God for that. We don't need any deaths over this. Two groups of men apparently got into an argument when the attack had happened, according to the chief superintendent. Apparently, what happens, a witness said that he saw one of the men screaming uh, while all of his friends had shouted, it is an acid attack, his skin is burning. They repeatedly shouted that out. Well, a man uh, who gave his name as as Hosen, okay, an assistant, um, an assistant manager there uh, at the Burger King, said that he saw a victim and his friend, a local homeless man, ended up running into the restaurant's bathroom to wash the acid out of his face. There were also cuts around his eyes, and he was trying to chuck water into them, the man said. It is unclear uh, at this time, they're saying, if the incident was terror-related. So, I mean, you never know with these situations, um, guys, it, it could very well be a terrorist situation. It could. It could very well. Um, but, you know what? Like I was saying earlier, you know, men's hearts fixated on evil continuously. These types of attacks are just, they're unacceptable. They shouldn't happen, but yet they do. We live in a fallen world. Uh, it's important to know that we need to be able to trust God uh, in all things, as though these, these bad things happen around the world. We have to remember God is love, okay? And... He has good things in store for those who love him. But be in prayer. Be in prayer for all these six uh, that are injured in this attack, guys, and that God would uh, deliver them a full um, and a complete healing, uh, that they'll be fine, no long-term damage to the eyes or anywhere else this acid may have gotten into. All right. If you guys are watching this video right now, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I promise you it will be the greatest decision you ever will make. Or if you prefer, you can email me directly, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. I will put my email below. You guys can get a hold of me there. All right, guys. I'll continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.